what is up guys it is nick we are back on the ranger and today we're going to try to progress so i tried to record earlier this morning but the servers were really crowded and i couldn't play really uh it booted me off twice and my game crashed three times we missed one cutscene. um i was in mid cutscene and it crashed so i just scrapped that whole video and we're gonna try it again now so i'm supposed to talk to orwin here to receive the next quest uh, I thought I would start the episode here. Known as the Monarch of Darkness, Belmore is the founder of the Shadow Knights. It's too dangerous for you to handle by yourself. Aiden went to Glish with Alustin to seek advice from some colleagues there. They said they'd find a way to prevent Belmore's resurrection. I was told Gorgath is in Calfion. He's working to purify the spreading darkness. I suppose I should go see what he has to say about this then. Uh, barbecue, so sweet. Caviar. <laughs> caviar. Take caviars for me. Uh, no, I want to. Wait, more. no. I'll go to Calvion instead. Uh, I'd yeah, rather no. deal with the monarch of darkness. <laughs> Funny. That's exactly what Aiden said. And. Hence why that's why I wanted to start the video here because cutscene. So go ahead and talk to her and she'll give you your next quest. So your next quest is to talk to Enrico Mancini about Glish. So we're going to head over there. Uh, we're going to head and probably I'll re-interrupt. I don't know. I feel like I've shown Glish a lot, but uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of farming there before I cut ahead to the boss fight. So yeah, I wanted to start this video with that cutscene. I will do my best to be recording to make sure that we don't miss any more cutscenes in the future. Future, if I can learn how to talk. And so yeah, as long as my game doesn't crash, I should not miss any more cutscenes, but you never know. So I will see you guys in a moment um, with whatever we're going to be doing next. Enrico? Ura, what brings you here? Huh. Looks like you've really moved up in the world. You've changed a lot, too. <sighs> Put that down so we can chat. <sighs> it's drinking water for Glish. We're bringing it in from Heidel. I heard the water's contaminated. I bet it's the Mudsters. Everything's gone to hell since Chief Donat disappeared. Can't you do something about it? You're the only one from our town who has any sway here. Ah, uh, well, it's hard enough just keeping the peace here in Heidel. I've got my hands full as it is. Anyway, the least I can do is speak with Instructor Crewhorn. All right, so we are back to kill some Nagas here. So we need to kill this commander, and there's one right in front of me, so I'm going to go ahead and kill it real quick before we formally get into this video. Don't steal my commander kill. There we go. So this is kind of a different area that I've never farmed before. You guys know, if you watch my channel for the duration of a lot of my Xbox videos, you know pretty much every time I show my good old favorite Nagas, I do love the Foggins a little bit more in terms of experience, but I do love me my Nagas. But this is kind of a different area. It's not nearly as good, but it's a place for a little bit more variety. So I will pull up the map here and show you guys where it is. Uh, I thought I'd show this because I wasn't going to show Nagas, but then I decided to come to this little bit of a different area that I don't ever come to. So I thought it was uh, decent to show this. So it's actually right here on this hill. Usually we're down here, uh, over here with the Naga or with the Foggins, or over here. Those are my two favorite areas. I do like this little slim pathway here as well. But these two lakes right here are usually where we're at. But we're actually up here right now. Uh, every once in a while I will go to the this area here. But uh, yeah, this was a little bit different of a spot, so I decided to show it. Uh, we should have the boss right now, so we're going to go ahead and fight uh, Prince Tidium. So let's go ahead and run on over there. Uh, so I'm going to try to speed through this a little bit faster than we have been going. Um, there's a lot of guides I want to do, and we need to be at endgame enough to do them. 
And so, and I know I'm going to have to use, for the video coming out later tonight, going over armor sets, uh, weapons, and all of that different stuff, that'll be on Xbox because I just am not at the point on PlayStation to really go over it in the way that I would prefer to go over it. The video may start on PlayStation, but it will move over to Xbox. Uh, that's just how it's going to have to go, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to try to progress this character a little bit quicker so that I can get it to the end game. You'll probably end up seeing it uh, in videos before I actually finish the series because I'm going to probably try to record ahead and get some stuff done. So we might have a video. I know they're mid-game when we get to the levels 30s. I'll probably just completely skip that because I don't... I'll probably show all the bosses, but that area, there's no farming. I don't do anything there. I don't like the farm spots from, like, 30 to 42. I really don't like how the game plays from there. And so I will probably just take my time and quickly skip... Or not take my time. I'll probably save you guys the time and just skip that portion of the game. Because I literally just do the main story, get through that as quickly as I can. And that's about the extent of it. There's not a whole there's not a whole lot what the heck just happened to my character. What was that? I'm, I'm I'm learning like new stuff every every time I play this, but what was that? My character just slate slid like we were on ice skates. I definitely need to look at skills, but that actually wasn't too slow of a kill of Tidium. I was actually pretty happy with that kill. Thought I was doing like no damage. Let me get away. Let me get up to my favorite rock perch up here. Watch everybody else fight while we uh, turn this quest in. So, we turn this quest in for defeating Titium. Get a black spirit thing. And then artifacts of Naga. So we need to find out more about the energy from the extraction mill. Uh, that is pretty close. Actually, not... Well, it's pretty close. Uh, it's up there at the... Uh, where is that in compare? Yeah, it's up where I was talking about where I like to go every once in a while. And so we will run up there. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more. We also picked up some more stuff to upgrade. Uh, I don't think any of it quite makes the cut. Uh, this Bastyr Longbow, as soon as you get enough B Bastyr Blackstones, will actually replace the Ultimate Steed. Uh, but we'll go over that once we get there. Uh, so let's go ahead and run on over to where we need to get to, and I'll keep talking. Uh, so what, I, what I'm trying to say is that we'll still have the noobs guide where I'm trying to show everything, um, but in this, we'll probably get an episode from 30, 30 to 42 that's just going to be cutscenes and bosses. I will commentate the bosses, obviously, and we'll have fun killing those, but... Uh, yeah, I, I need to progress the characters, you know, recording and editing videos and working on all of that. Um, it it takes some time. It, it really has hindered my ability to get these characters leveled up really fast. The day you're seeing this video is the day I recorded it. Uh, I was out of pre-recorded stuff, so you, uh, you are seeing this the day I'm recording it. I am really only level 23 today. Uh, I will get to 24 here, uh, but 23 is is where we are right now but this is the area that i go to i've started going to it more because i like the circle so i'll show the circle real quick uh i'll show it again in the noobs guide i'm on the wrong part of this not a lot i can't say i've been going here a lot but i've been going here some i guess that's the appropriate term but i gotta get to the right spot uh, let's go over here i guess i can kill the thorn tentacles while i'm here these not count? I guess these don't count. Because they're because they're black thorn tentacles, I guess they don't count for that quest. But yeah, I used to go to the areas down at the bottom, which I still really like those areas, but this area has really nice circle coverage to where if you do the circle you should, you know. You should complete the circle no problem. And have them be respawned. That skill is so good. Gotta be my favorite skill. Right now on the Ranger. We need to... I want to try to level up quickly so I can get more skills. Because right now, the skills... I don't know. They just they just quite aren't doing it for me. 
really getting back on my archer on Xbox was like the worst thing I could have done. Because that thing just feels so nice. It feels, it plays like so clean. And the ranger just, the ranger's good. I still like the ranger, but man, compared to the, compared to my Xbox archer, it's just a little bit, it's a little bit on the struggle. It's a little bit not what, not as good. I, I used, to, I like Ranger more, barely. It used to be a gap, now it's like, barely Ranger is above. Just because I think I'm going to like, it. see, I'm, I'm just basing it on assumption, which is stupid. I'm basing the assumption that I'm going to really like that dagger when it awakens, but we don't actually know I'm going to like that. Okay, so I'm just going to let those guys have the, the farm spot. Let's go ahead and complete the quest here. We will uh, get a little cutscene here. That's the main reason why I ran over here. And to show you guys what I was talking about in case you had never seen that. Then all you do... I guess I should have probably completed the circle. So let's complete the circle really quick. I'll just run it and show you. So you kill these guys first. Then you, you can do this in a reverse order also. But then you come over here and you kill these guys. And then you jump this little gap here to get over here to kill these guys. And then you cut through this little gap here and wrap around and you're back at the starting point and everything should be respawned. If everything's not respawned, you're just killing stuff really quick and I am spooked that you're killing stuff that quick because you really shouldn't be able to complete that circle without it being respawned. Like, I've never seen it, so that's just me. But uh, let's go ahead and get this cutscene. A guy called Aiden saved me. Those black Nagas went berserk as soon as they saw the artifact. All right. Pull yourself together. Ah, oh, damn it. Words are no use here. for a false power we'll put everyone in danger you could you pick up that necklace there for me cannot be saved with that artifact. The power is that of destruction, not of salvation. Alright, so there is that cutscene completed. We'll grab our next quest here from Eden, which is talk to Kana, which is, is he right here? No, wait. Kana is all the way out. I thought he was right next to Eden. But we're going to go back to Glish and complete this. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get close to where I want to be, where I'm just going to zoom through the story in this episode. That's kind of the main goal of this episode is just to try to find a way to get to see like the Foggins when we get to there. I mean, I can show that again, but I've shown that a million times on my Xbox playthroughs and I'll show the exact specific rotation route that I love there on the Noobs Guide playthrough. And so I feel like a lot of the stuff, what on earth am I stuck on there? I feel like a lot of the stuff has been mitigated because of the fact that I am doing the Noobs Guide 
the fact that I need to show a lot of the story stuff and a lot of my farming spots has been kind of mitigated on this character. Uh, this will obviously still be my main character, so I think probably the best thing to do is to get it to the playable state of Endgame. I think, I think that's probably the best decision to be made. Because right now I'm kind of uploading this and the Noob's Guide in tandem and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, that's just my opinion. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because... Um, what am I trying to say? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because it's just one video that's a little more detailed and one video that's not detailed at all. So here it's going to have you put on the Exquisite Nugget Ear accessories. These give you more accuracy than the binder earrings. I never want to put these on. Um, I'm still explaining this like it's the noobs guide, but I should explain stuff like this in case you're seeing this video first. Uh, I wonder if they named this person after actual Lionel Richie. Complete this, and now we're going to get more talking quests, so I can keep talking. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of walk through my thought process here. This series has turned into more of just talking through stuff with you guys as Siri. Siri, what are you doing? That, Siri. Stop it. I didn't even say anything related to Siri. But yeah, this has just kind of turned into something for me to talk through stuff with you guys. Uh, more of a casual playthrough with the noobs guide being much more... Not scripted. It's not It's not scripted. It's more... That's still freeform like all my videos. I, I try to not be too overly... Ser not take them overly serious for you guys. I try to have a little bit of a little bit of my own thoughts inserted because I don't want to sit here and like write down a script and be reading off the script. I kind of like free forming it. I mean, they do have a general like, oh, I'm going to talk about this, but then I kind of just take that and run, I guess is kind of what I do. And I don't know, I probably could do with some more formal videos. I think people would probably like that if I just had some very nice formal videos for them, but I don't know. I, I I like to I like to keep it relaxed and keep it um, kind of casual on the channel, not too not too formal or anything like that for anyone. I do not remember coming down here. That felt like a spot that would have been a cutscene. Aha! See, I knew. I don't know what Donat was after. There must be a reason for bringing ruin to the entire village. Certainly, it has nothing to do with alchemy. There must be a trace left somewhere. My deputies have searched this place. And the device has already been broken. Didn't you say you were good at this sort of thing? I guess this is the perfect time to show off your talent. Hold up a second. What? What? What is all this? What the hell did you do? You see it too? So, this was the clue. Some kind of record is appearing. Aha! See, I knew that was cutscene material. And I, I knew it was cutscene time here, but... All right, so we went ahead and accepted that quest. Now we need to find traces of Danat in the Glish ruins, which is another thing that I don't think I've ever... I don't remember, like, any of this stuff. I guess I've been doing the kill quest too much for the different stuff that I just don't remember, like, the Glish ruins and whatnot. So I guess we'll do this. We'll do the Glish ruins, and then I'll call it an episode. I think that that works, but I think I got through everything that I wanted to kind of work through with you guys and let you know what was going to happen. I'm going to try to speed up the noobs guides as well to make them a little bit quicker and get through areas a little bit faster. But my point is, is that, you know, I'm trying to get through these so that we can be in a state where I can try to help people even more with the videos. But uh, in order to do some of the stuff that I want to do... I need to be max level, but I also want to make the videos. Is it going to be a cutscene? Do I need to shh? Yeah, see? Shh. Finally, I have the key. Now, my preparations are complete. Donut, 
You don't even know what's in that chest. Just give up your false belief. Do not be such a fool. With this key in my hand, the entire world will be under my control. You've lost your mind, man. Think so. We shall see about that. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I guess maybe we won't call it an episode here at the Glitch Ruins, but kind of happy I didn't end the episode. This is a little bit of a different area. It has these Mudsters and Mud Swamp Monsters, which uh kind of different. You don't actually fight these very much. So while I'm here, I'm going to kill them at least try to get C ranking to them. Because I don't really know about seeing these guys at any other point in the game. So I'd like to get the knowledge at least. Shouldn't take too long. Also, we do have the node manager here, which I would like to speak to. This 30... What? 35? 30... Really? You want 35 energy to learn about these things? No wonder I gotta kill them. Hold on, let me find some more. I just want to see rank. I just want to kill enough that I know what the heck they are. I just want to see their health bar, essentially. So that every time I come here, I can dedicate just a minimal amount of time. Not a lot, not a lot, just a little. And maybe get them to A eventually. Not asking to... Oh my gosh, how many of these things do I have to kill? I just want to see rank. I need to check my pets real quick. I don't think I have any food on this character. No, I don't. Okay, so I need to get food on this character. But we're good, we're good. They should be picking stuff up. But these guys aren't dropping anything. The circle here would be really nice if these things res they respawn at a really slow rate. Hello, C. Okay, I guess I guess I'm just not going to get C. Like, come on. Black dirt. Oh, hell to the yes. What what a drop. They dropped me some dirt. Come on, Reggie, you're, lag you're lagging behind. Okay, well, I guess I will we'll get C rank the next time we come here, because I don't want to take any more of your guys' Ah, we leveled up, though. So that works out, too. Got to level 25 as we left. And so, hopefully... I might just show the boss for Glish, which would be the Foggin boss. I think that's what I'll probably do is just show the Foggin boss and then probably just go from there. I'll probably just show that and then after that we should be to the point of the game where I don't really care for um, and there's not a whole lot of I just I don't care for it because there's not a little there's not a lot of good grinding spots there's not a lot of good side quest it's just kind of a I don't know it's just kind of a meh area of the game and the kill quests that they give you in it are not the greatest kill quests. It's just not my favorite part of the game. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it any more than that. Levels 20, like 28 to 42, 30 to 42, however you want to look at it. Those just don't really, I don't know. They just don't, they aren't my favorite part of the game. I don't know how to describe it any other way than that. So I try to progress through them as quickly as possible. Save everybody time and, and enter, and it saved everybody time pretty much. Don't have to waste your guys' time. Okay, 
Guess I gotta sell some stuff here. What do I got to sell? Sell this earring. Sell that. Pumpkin vines. Okay, so we got a little bit more money. We can buy 93 of those now. So at least get our cheap feed up a little bit here, which is very nice. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and turn this quest in, see where we got to go next. I believe it should be Glish next. We should be heading to the Glish, uh, or not Glish, we should be heading to the Foggins next, which is right next to Glish, the opposite side away from the uh, Nagas. All right, buddy. Turn this quest in. So, Donuts Will. We need to deliver the will. So, yeah, I'm not going to make you guys sit through me delivering the will and all of that different stuff. But I wanted to use this video as just kind of a general, up, not update video, but just talk through some stuff with you guys, let you guys know what's happening. I guess you could call it an update video. But, yeah, just pretty much talk through some stuff with you guys. So, we'll make sure there's no cutscene here. Nope. Okay, so we need to go talk to Alustin, which is Alustin here. Oh, Alustin's right next to him. Sometimes Alustin deals with... Uh, yeah. In order to resurrect Belmorn, the monarch of darkness, they'll need a specific kind of soul to use as a host. A soul of true purity. Oh? Does that mean me? Oh my goodness! But who might be a suitable host? The Grand Chamberlain of Heidel is a bit different from ordinary souls. Georgian Dukas? He visited us here once before. His hatred towards Calpheon seemed all too pure. He would make a perfect vessel for the Monarch of Darkness. Oh, this is really bad. I'll go tell Aiden, all right? Usually with Alustin, the main characters in this, you're going to get some of the main story uh, cutscenes. So I was I was happy that Alustin was there so that we didn't start the next episode with just straight... Uh, with a cutscene and no intro. Uh, but get all of this out of the way and make sure we don't grab any more cutscenes here. Alright, Jordan Dukas is here, so probably good to talk to him before we end the video. We're getting all the main people in the game. And I just want to make sure that there aren't any more cutscenes. Because very easily there could have been a cutscene there with Jordine Dukas up here. Grab both of these Black Spirit gifts, which is nice. We got another Black Stone, so we might be able to do some stuff with that here soon. Oh my gosh, there's just a ton of dialogue here. Might as well grab it all before we call it an episode. Before I peace out. Make sure there's no more cutscenes. Oh my gosh! Now we need to talk. Okay, Annalyn is away, a ways away. So I'm gonna start get get going. We're gonna go all the way down here, which was next to Bloody Monastery, which is one of the best farms in the game. I don't think I ever show it because you rarely need to go here. If you just progress the story, obviously you don't need to go farm here. But man, it is it one good farm. So I guess I'll probably start the next episode with a little bit of fun at uh, Bloody Monastery since I never get to show that. And so I will see you guys uh, in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. I haven't been saying that at the end of the videos. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.